family welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be working on the, um, the maverick we still got the, the interior pieces to do um i'm going to get the steering wheel in get the back seats in and get the gauges and everything hooked up so that's my goal in this video so that's what we're going to do let's go ahead and get started okay steering wheel is installed So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the wiring and the the tray that goes up under the dash and try to get the gauges and stuff um, installed. And then we'll finish working on the carpet. Okay, so I've been working and haven't been recording much, but you see I got my gauge mounted. Um, I got my inertia switch mounted over there and plugged in. And that switch actually turns your fuel pump um, off if you get into an accident so I got that mounted in the upright position what I'm working on now is my brake light switch um, I'm just trying to tie into the factory wires um, so I can get my brake lights working and um, basically just trying to clean up a lot of this stuff because once I put the front seat in I'm not gonna have the room down here to do all this stuff so I'm trying to get as much done as possible um, while I have the front seat out. So, but that's what I've been doing. Um, everything seems to be going okay so far. So I'll start the video back up when I put the tray on and kind of wrap up this inside a little bit. Okay, so I got the tray in, got the gauges back mounted. I had to take them out because the tray wouldn't fit in with with the gauges there. Um, I mounted my ODB2 port. Got all of that plugged up and mounted. Uh, let me see if I can, let me, let me turn the light off on this camera. It look, it's making it look foggy. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so like I said before, I got the tray mounted, so everything's in there. I've got the OBD2 port plugged up. Steering wheel mounted. And I think everything looks good. So let me check my list of to-do stuff. And see what I have next. And it might be putting the back seat in. So, alright, I'll come back to the video. Okay, got the rear seat in. It's a little dirty, but I can, um clean this up when I clean the car up but got it in and doesn't look too bad let me go on the other side and show you how it looks from the other side all right it's coming together I'm just gonna climb up under the car now and poke the um put the holes in the carpet for the seat belts and uh, the actual front holes for the um, the bucket seat to mount. I mean the, the bench seat to mount. Seat's just sitting in here. I still have to bolt it down. But just want to get you a basic look of how it, how it looks, basically. Go to the other side of the car. So like I said, I just got to bolt the seat down and cut the carpet and the door seals. And that would be it. All right, so, um, so they got the seat in. Uh, my goal is today is to go ahead and start getting the seat bolted down so I can get this carpet cut right here in the, or trimmed in the doorway. So I'm gonna have to adjust the seat, to try to get it to, to go wherever it's supposed to go. Um, I got the holes cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that so I can get that bolt it down and then we can go ahead and start cutting the carpet for these door sills 
Okay, I got the seat bolted down. I'm working on the seat belts now. I got them through the seat and got them actually screwed into the floor back here. Just got to do the ones on the side, and then I'm going. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the carpet and get the um the door sill plates in. So let me get back to it. All right, door sill plate is done on the driver's side. Door plate and seat belt is in on the passenger side. I might actually have to get another uh, door plate for this side um, because it doesn't look the best, but I can always do that later, so that's not that big of a deal. I think they cost $100 for the pair, so. Alrighty, seats are in, door seals is in, carpet, carpet is cut. Okay, so what I'm about to do now, I've been dreading. Um, I'll show you. So I noticed once I put this rear end in and filled it up with gear or it has a leak. It's coming from the pinion seal. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's it's dripping out the pinion seal. So I got to take the dry shaft back off and change the pinion seal. So and that's about the only thing that I have left for this this car. And just like I said, I've been dreading it because I don't want to have to take the dry shaft and stuff back out. But since it's the last thing for me to do, I might as well go ahead and do it. And that way I don't have to get up under this car anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then um, hopefully it comes out pretty easy. And I can put the new one back in. And we can get this car fired up and at least pulled out so I can try to see how it um See if I can test drive it or not, if it's ready to be test driven. Okay, so whatever doing the pinion seal is best to mark the position that it's in. See, I scratched it right there to mark it. I'm probably gonna go get some paint and put it on it also. And then I gotta take the dry shaft off. And then Take this flange off and the pinion seal sits right behind there. All right, so got the flange off. She's got it draining into here now. And you can see the seal around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and then take that out once it's finished draining. Got the flange right here. I used the gear puller to pull that off course it wouldn't be me if I didn't make a mess it's actually leaking out more than I thought a little bit more than a half a quart got my new seal get ready to tap it in okay seal is in Everything's tightened back up now. See where my paint marks are matched. And also on the net on the inside, they're matched on there. So what I'm doing now is I just gotta spin the dry shaft around to get to the last remaining bolt up top that I gotta tighten up. And then I'm gonna level the car out and put the fluid back in it. Um, it looked like it leaked out about a quart. So I'm gonna put a quart of fluid back in there. So probably won't put that on video. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done now. Okay, back at the house now. Um, got a lot done in this video, um, but I actually wanted to do more. Um, the biggest thing, like I said before, is I got the pinion seal put in. That's what was holding me up. I didn't wanna do it, but I got that put in. Um, I also discovered another issue with the gear shift. So I'm going to have to fix that, but I'm going to fix that off camera. I got to reroute the cable or do something with the cable because it's just not working. So thanks for watching. Click on that subscribe button if you haven't. Click that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.